This one's kind of an interesting one, uh, just modeling. So I'm going to go out of edit mode, hit control N. And to make this a little bit simpler, I'm going to grab a sphere 3D, drag it on my canvas, go into edit mode, make poly mesh 3D. I'm going to go to geometry. I'm going to go ahead and turn DynaMesh on, which makes this a DynaMesh mesh. And we can go ahead and turn our floor off. If you want more information on the basis of this, again, go to my YouTube channel. Check out the ZBrush for ideation. If you go in here, this will take you through all the basics. There's about 50-something videos in here that will take you through the basics of ZBrush, DynaMesh being one of them. Now, since we have a DynaMesh mesh, you can change just resolutions. You can crank that resolution up, and then you can control drag, and that will uh, raise the density of your mesh. And a cool thing you can do, if you're familiar with surface noise, uh, we can go over here, we can turn on surface noise, and if we crank up or crank down that strength and change that scale, you can also go down here and you can flip this... Uh, line horizontally or vertically. You can also change this offset and that's going to start making this mesh transparent. So we hit OK. This is the surface noise that we're going to get. So let's go back in here and we'll go ahead and change this noise scale so it's quite a bit bigger. So this is the result we're getting. Now, uh, because we have a DynaMesh, if we go up here and we hold down Alt and then choose Add, it's going to go through and it's actually going to create geometry using that noise onto your object here. So if we undo that and we're just back in here to surface noise, let's go into Edit. And instead of doing um, regular old surface noise, we can go to nose, noise plug here. And we'll just choose this one at the very top. We'll choose brick. And again, that offsets we already changed. If we change that back to zero, you're going to see this is the normal brick pattern here. You can change the strength of the brick pattern on your object. Uh, if it had UVs, we could use yeah, UVs, but we don't. And you're going to see we still have a little bit of that rocky noise in there. We can say mix basic noise down to zero. Now, if we do want to cut through our object, we're going to take this offset here. Unfortunately, if we hit OK, it's taking the lines uh, between the bricks and making those an object. So what we got to do is go into edit mode, and we're going to flip this uh, line horizontally. And now when we do an offset, uh, it's going to go through. If we hit OK, that's going to cut through our object here. Now, again, if I go up here and I hold down Alt and choose Add, it's going to create actual geometry here. So if we turn on polyframe, we're going to see we have poly groups in here. However, since those are all split, we can now go down here to poly groups, auto groups, and every single one of those chunks that it split will be its own piece of geometry. So I can go through here and hold down control shift and then control shift drag and we can punch all the way through and we can see as we control shift tap all of these and then control shift drag to invert. That is those uh, chunks that were split with that surface noise. And let's go ahead and turn off line here. And if you want to have a little bit more fun, we can go to subtool here. We can go to split two parts. And now every one of those chunks will be its own subtool. And now we can go into the transform menu and we can say expose. So now you can see all of those chunks from that sphere laid out like so.